Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, I thought I'd just give you a quick example of how capable the, well, my, my Volvo S80 is with Michelin Cross Climates in the snow. Quite a few of you have been on. Here it is. Um, as you can see, we've got a fair bit of snow here. It's all been sort of ploughed and dug out, so it's not too bad. It's still quite powdery because it's had a drop um, today, but we're just going to move the car into the garage. And uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, Give you a demonstration of how capable it is because we've been able to go uphill, round corners, everything like that. And people have been saying, Oh, well, you know, you need studded tyres for this sort of weather, etc. But actually, this, these Michelin cross climates have been fantastic. We've covered a thousand miles through Sweden on them, and obviously, the thousand miles before that, um, from the UK, so we've done 2,000 miles on them just on this trip alone. Um, these, I think they've had they've got about 30,000 miles on these front ones, and on the back, I've got about 10,000. Um, and they're the absolutely fantastic tyres. So uh, let's get in and uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. It's all uh, it's minus nine here today. So um, it's uh, yeah, certainly not a warm day. But because the snow is so frozen, I think it provides a bit more grip. Um, so we'll. Uh, pull forward just like that and it's just like normal there's a bit of noise from the tyres obviously and if you just feed a bit of throttle on in you just pull up like normal there's no slip and we're off just like that so that's a fairly decent gradient of compacted snow and then if we reverse back now down into the garage but um, yeah you can see so if I put my foot on the brake now, we stop straight away. And it's obviously that's fairly low speed, but when you're up to high speed, sort of 100 kilometers an hour, um, it's excellent. I'll just actually pull up the driveway as well, show you guys again how good these tires are. Now these ones should be replaced since with the Cross Climate Twos, um, which is again, a very, very good tire. Uh, sort of does everything that this tire does, but slightly better. Um, so I'd definitely love to try a set of those when I've seen my next trip. But yeah, no issues at all driving around in the snow. It is yeah, absolutely awesome. I mean, if you if you're stuck in really really deep stuff, then um, probably wouldn't be much help. But for general. Um, well, they need to, neither with winter tyres, would they? You'd need a sort of tractor tyre or something like that. But for general driving in sort of Scandinavia, etc., these tyres have been good. Um, so we've had a bit of a slide every now and then, but it's quite easy to correct that. And I'm just reversing into a snowbank here. But again, look, the car just pulls out, no issues whatsoever. We'll pull back now, back into the garage here. We've got a lovely fire as well. You can see the amount of snow here is just incredible. It's, um, yeah, we went, went through a snow drift the day and the, the snow was way taller than the car was. So, um, yeah, amazing. But um, this car has just absolutely excelled here. It's been fantastic. It's almost got better. The colder it's got, it's like it's unlocked a new mode. Um, and it's just become amazing. Uh, so this is going to be its home for a week or so. Um, tucked away in this garage out of the snow so we don't have to keep uh, washing it off. There you go. That's how high the snow is. Absolutely massive. Nearly as big as that building. But, um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know while I'm up here what you guys would like to see. Um, obviously, not not all of us get a chance to come up here, so I'd really love to take the opportunity to show you test stuff, test stuff out or show you guys what you want to see while I'm here. And I'll uh, yeah, see you next one. Cheers.